What is going on everyone and welcome back. Um, sorry it's a little bit of a weird angle, I'm down here in my basement. Uh, so last week I put out a video showing a little bit of an update of what I've been up to and what I've got going on. And as promised, this is going to be a video talking about uh, the one rig that I moved to solar and exactly what panels and what system I'm using to do that and how much it costed and how many watts I'm earning and pulling. So we're going to go over some numbers. Don't know if I'm going to get to all the numbers, so please feel free to ask down below if I miss anything or if there's any questions you have that I didn't answer. So let's get right into it. So I'm going to flip the camera around and make this easy to record. So I didn't say it in my last video, but the system that I went with, and I'll, I'll get into this in the, in the video for multiple reasons, is I went with an EcoFlow Delta Pro. Now, if you don't know what that is, this is basically a solar generator. And if you don't know what a solar generator is, it's the exact same thing as a gas generator. Um, there's just no fumes, there's no emissions, you don't need gas or anything like that. You can basically charge up this battery from solar, from the wall, you can charge it from your AC adapter in your car, uh, like, like a trickle charge. Um, however, you can get power into these batteries, or this battery, I should say, this is the main hub. Um, you can charge this battery and then basically wheel it. It actually has wheels on it like a suitcase as you can see this thing pulls out and there's some wheels on the back um, you can actually wheel it and take it anywhere you want you can charge anything you want you can take it into the woods you can take it on road trips um, I've seen a lot of videos online of people charging Tesla's from these so there's a lot of stuff you can do with this now uh, what I decided to do was is I'm running a rig now we're gonna get into it I have it over here it's a little three card rig not a four card or even a 3090 rig but just getting into some numbers now these batteries are 3600 watts a piece now they don't have you don't get full um, capacity whenever you go to charge them or anything so I give myself about 6600 watts between the two of them this is the main hub as you can see I got my plugs um, I have my USB plugs um, and I have all that I even have my RV uh, plug right here and then this is just basically an extra battery that goes with it um, they link together as you can see on this one I'm 29% full and it's currently pulling 43 watts from this battery into this one and currently right now um, input going into this battery is about 400 watts that is some from solar I have my little, little solar uh, meters are on so my panels are pulling we're going to go up on the roof towards the end of this video and we'll talk about the solar panels. But um, output right now with the rig, uh, I'm using about 430 watts, 410, it's jumping around, which isn't bad for three cards, a motherboard, and graphic uh, power supply unit and CPU. So um, this system is pretty much a plug and play system. You just put down your panels, um, you plug them all in in series or in parallel and then you plug the wire into the back of the actual hub. Now, like I said, this is an extra battery, so if you're looking to get one of these plug-and-play solar systems, um, unfortunately, they're extremely expensive. Now, I got a really, really good deal uh, from uh, a guy that was selling them on eBay. He was actually selling them refurbished. Um, it's a really, really good company. I checked their feedback and everything, and they've been doing it for a really long time. I was actually one of these systems from EcoFlow, I believe, with a couple solar panels. With a couple solar panels. Uh, I believe it's right around $4,500. Five grand, I think, is what it was. And then this battery itself is like $2,499. So the complete system together usually would cost somebody around six or seven grand six or seven thousand dollars I was able to do mine all in all for right around five grand was what I got it for um, I was able to buy it as a complete set um, I will try and put some links down below to some eBay listings um, if if they're not available I'm not gonna put them down below because he was selling out of them pretty quickly and this was a few weeks ago that I did this um, my advice to you would be, um, I like shopsolarkits.com, that's also another website, I will throw that link down below. They're really good people, they got good support if you have any questions. Um, and their deals aren't terrible, um, you're definitely getting middled, but it's good for the support. Their, their support makes it well worth buying from them, so I won't hammer that too, too much. Um, let's move over here to this rig. So all I did was is I threw together a real simple, um, energy efficient rig. Um, these are 33070s. Uh, and then obviously power supply and the regular the Z uh, 390A uh, motherboard that we usually use uh, and that's pretty much it I'm getting about 181 182 mega hash out of this 
Um, with the prices of everything moving around so frequently, I really don't have, a, I, I should have did the math this morning to figure out what exactly this is making, probably a few dollars. Um, and I know that before anybody starts bashing me saying that, well, you're not going to really make your money back. Let me flip the camera around so you guys can see me. Before anybody starts bashing me saying that, well, you're not going to really make your money back because, I mean, you spent five grand on this and you're only making a few dollars a day on this. It's going to take you years to earn back. I know. I fully planned on it taking me four, five, six years to break even. Um, is This system wasn't bought specifically just for mining. It was bought for mining, but more for a toy for me to play with. Um, EcoFlow, the company that makes these batteries, actually makes a, uh, a panel that goes on your wall. Um, it'll go, as you can see, my panel's right here. I'll probably put it on the wall right here next to it. And what it does, uh, I'm not an electrician, so I, I'm probably going to use the wrong terms, but you basically wire it into that panel and you have your circuits in that panel as well and you can turn off your circuits in your main box and basically run your whole house on just these batteries because they'll connect straight up to the panel so hopefully here in the next month I can make a video showing uh, the electrician hooking up that EcoFlow panel and then on uh, times when my power goes out I'll actually be able to use this for my entire house I do have future plans hopefully here within the next couple months to order a, uh, a Tesla so that was actually the main reason behind getting this because my wife is not going to wait at a supercharger so she told me that if we were looking at getting a new car we have to get one that we can we can charge from our house so um, so not, not only will this be able to charge my car, not only will this be able to give me power into my house whenever the power goes out, but it also runs um, my, my three card rig when I'm not using it for anything else. So uh, I don't have an exact number on when I'm gonna be able to earn all my money back and as fastly as I can, as quickly as I can, not fastly, uh, as I can for this. I'm thinking it's gonna be around four or five years. Uh, that's if Bitcoin stays exactly the same price. So we all know that's not going to happen. It's either going down or it's going to go up. So I'm either going to take way longer or a shorter time to do that. So I think I'm going to uh, go back outside now. Uh, I think we're going to go up on the roof and we'll take a look at what kind of solar panels and how I got them wired. So give me one minute and I'll see you guys on my roof. All right, everybody. So we are up here on the roof. Uh, so the only two things that I really wanted to show y'all and talk to y'all about was about what kind of panels I got. I have 200 watt panels and they're, the brand of them is Rich Solar. Now, I actually ordered, I'm not going to tell what brand it is because I don't want to bash the brand or get in trouble. But uh, I actually ordered another brand whenever I originally got all my panels because when I bought the set it only came with six panels and I you can hook up to 1600 watts of solar to this plug and play system. So. I obviously wanted to max it out so what I did was is I bought two more panels now when they got here they didn't work um, they I couldn't when I plugged them into my other to the rich solar panels they just weren't reading them when I went down the the little icon wasn't on my EcoFlow Pro turns out that both panels somehow were shorted out they, they just didn't work I got a multimeter and I tested them and they were just weren't getting any volts they weren't getting any power so I ended up having to wait maybe a week and I actually went online ordered two more panels from rich solar to match my other ones and when I got them I plugged them in and they were working just fine so I don't know what was the deal with that um, I guess my advice here would be to just make sure you find a good panel that works and try to I guess get all the same panels I know a lot of companies say that they're all universal and they can be used with other panels but I don't know what was wrong with mine. I had a little bit of a problem, so just try to get the same panels. Now, I'm really, really close to the edge here, so I don't want to go any further, but one of the problems that I had whenever I first started setting up these panels was I had the six plugged in, and when I was waiting for the other ones, there was a little bit of a problem. I could not seem to get, sorry, no, I was waiting for the other ones. Whenever the other two came in, these two right here, and I plugged them in, I couldn't get them to plug in, so... What I ended up having to do was do a lot of research. I called, uh, I actually called a friend of mine who has some stuff like this, and he was able to walk me through some steps that he thought would fix it. And here, I had them all ran in series, and what that was doing is it was giving too many volts to my system. Um, apparently, uh, and I'll, uh, I'm sorry, I'm getting my words all mixed up here. Um, the EcoFlow Delta Pro can only take like 150 or something like that volts. And if you wire all these panels together in series, it comes out to be like 162 or 161 or something like that. So 
um, after doing some research and everything, I figured out that what I had to do to get all these to work uh, is I had to wire these four in series. I had to wire these four in series. And then what I did is, is I wired them both in parallel. So all I did was is I connected all the panels together and then it left me with two ends and then this one left me with two ends. So all I did was is I took the positive from this one, the positive from this one, put it through a branch connector and that, that came, gave me one wire. Then I put the negative from here and the negative from here, put them together through a branch connector and that gave me a negative wire. And those are the wires that are coming through up here that you can see. The red and the black. And then that goes down into the Delta Pro. So that's about all the advice I have to give you all about this. Um, Huge, definitely recommend getting one. Um, I wouldn't recommend getting one at this current uh, state just to mine on. Um, if you were actually going to build like an actual mining farm, um, I would suggest you to get like an actual wired in solar system. Uh, this plug and play solar generator is not for you. Um, we can talk about it later in the future, but I do have plans hopefully in the next year or two to buy a big piece of property, completely outfit the whole thing with solar panels and build an actual solar farm. Uh, so please make sure you hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for any future updates. Um, you're not going to miss any of those videos. I'm um, hoping here in the next few days I can make a video showing the farm, going over some cards, maybe do some hash rates and go over some profits. So um, Make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. Can't tell you how much I appreciate all of it. It helps the algorithm recognize my videos. So I'm going to end this video here. I will see you all in the next one, probably here in the next few days. Stay safe and have a good one.